friends, it's Brian here. So I got a little project today. The weather's kind of nasty out, but that's all right. So I want to add a pressure gauge to my cartridge filter. And it's completely not required, but there's a spot for it here, and I think it's going to be quite handy to have. So let me go get a pair of pliers, and we'll see what that is. Um, they included a fitting with this. This came from Amazon, and um, this is junk. This this uh, Teflon wrap, I mean, I can't even get it out. It's trash. You really need to use um, pipe dope. So, I'll be right back. All right, so first things first, we're going to get this off here. And uh, I should be using a different pair of pliers, but this will work. And that is the air escaping out of the tank. So this one has thread sealant built into it. Let's see if it's even the right size. I'm not sure that's gonna work either. All right, let's see what we got on this side. Pretty sure I looked at one of these earlier and was like, yeah, that's the side that'll take a plug. Alright, so it's really just as simple of just screwing one in. This is a pretty nice one. It's got a... V-set. Alright, so I've got to take this bezel off in order to screw it in. And again, that's not a big deal. That's good. So this little bezel ring can be set to where you initially have a clean filter and it'll tell you when your filter's dirty. It's really designed for like a sand filter or something, but it'll work fine for my purposes. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, that would have been the better place to put a, a, um, I guess that's supposed to be an air bleed. But that would have been the better place to put a gauge. So, I mean, that, that's really it. There's there's not much to it. I'm going to fire up my pump. It'll blow the air out of the system on its own. So, we've got really good pressure here at about 10 PSI and you just adjust this to wherever your system starts so we're we're actually at about 11 so we'll just start it there and that'll let me know if I built up too much pressure in my filter system uh, and it, it's better than just kind of watching the flow on the other end um, so hopefully this weekend I'm gonna add a pre-filter and I'm gonna replace that with a saltwater chlorinator I've already put salt in the pool um, so anyway, thanks for watching uh, and there'll be some more. And here's, here's the vacuum gauge telling me that I'm drawing 11, 11 pounds of, or 11 inches of vacuum on the uh, plumbing side. So that lets me know if I have any restrictions. I still think that's a little bit high for, for this pool, uh, but that's not today's project. So if I want to see, pretty sure I've gotten rid of all the, yeah, I've gotten rid of all the chlorine. So I either have to convert or, yes, and I know you really shouldn't take these off, but honestly, it's not a big deal on this system. So um, I either have to add another chlorine tablet, which I really don't want to do, or I have to convert my system. And my biggest headache is I have high CYA because I've been using tablets and shock forever. Um, but I think we're just going to let it burn off on its own. Anyway, thanks for watching.
So one other thing, this piece that came out of that filter housing, I'm gonna save it, because you never know, I might need it again. And the best place for me to keep something like this is in here in the timer box where I never go and I'll find it. So, and then, if you wanna know more about these, I have a video on these. These are Zigbee controlled and they've been fantastic. I basically never have to mess with them, they just work.